Hi, hello everyone. This is Dr. Chiranjeevi Manike, Professor and Head of Data Science and Cyber Security Department, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. As a part of data mining video lecture series, in this lecture, we are going to discuss attribute selection measures. So let us see what are the measures available to select the best attribute. So here, there are three mainly me three measures available information gain gain ratio and the guinea index so in this lecture we'll be going to discuss about the information gain and then we will see a numerical example that is how to use this information gain to select uh, the particular attribute to construct the decision trees so let us try to understand why we need to select this attribute or which is the best attribute like here from this on the right right hand side of this there is a tree this is a flow chart representation of this decision tree the first attribute is outlook and then and it is divided into the three branches like uh, humidity overcast wind again it is divided like this and we have uh, the nodes that is represented with a yes no like this so in this case and this is the data set and the corresponding decision tree for this data set left side is the data set the right hand side is the, the corresponding decision tree so now so everybody will get a question like because what kind of what kind of questions like so because here this data set has the attributes like outlook temperature humidity wind and the target label that is not so these are the attributes this given data set has so why we need to select the outlook why can't we select this temperature humidity or wind okay that is the basic question everybody will get so how we are going to select this attribute how which measures what are the measures we use on based on the which measure will decide which attribute need to be selected first or at every level like suppose this is a level one level two like this so first level we we have selected this outlook from this decision tree and second level along in this along this path we have selected the humidity and in this path we have selected the wind so what are the measures so as i said there are three measures available like information gain information gain gain ratio and the guinea index so let us just understand how this information gain would be used to select an attribute that is to best partition the tuples in this data set so i just want to give a clarification what is tuple and what is a attribute or what are the features so these are the tuples rows are used to call as a tuples are the samples or observations also in statistics and the columns like outlook temperature humidity and the wind these are all features are the characteristics attributes so an attribute selection measure is a heuristic for selecting the splitting criteria that is the best separates a given data partition d of a class labels that is training tuples into the individual classes because first as we already discussed the classification or if you want to build a machine learning model or a deep learning model or any so we have to split the data set by using a, like a train test split or any other function we would divide the data set into the different uh, like a partitions i would say like the we will give the like suppose if the given data is would be divided into the 80 into 20 that is for 80 percentage of that samples would be used for training the model and 20 percentage of the samples would be used for testing and again so in this what uh, we are going to build this decision tree based on the training data so then we evaluate the classification accuracy of this decision tree by testing by testing with the testing samples or observations so 
if you were to split the d into the smaller partitions according to the outcomes of the splitting criteria outcome is nothing but the value under the target variable like in the previous uh, like this data set we have the outcome that is either yes or no that is the target variable so we split this data into the smaller partitions according to the outcomes of the splitting criteria so ideally each partition would be pure that is all the tuples that that fall into a given partition would belong to the same class the purity measures we would also say how pure the partition that the, suppose if you are dividing the tuples into the different uh, partitions so like suppose let us say the d is the given data set uh, it has the n number of tuples and like suppose this d is divided into the two partitions based on a particular attribute of that particular data set so let us say this is the partition 1 d1 d2 then this partition should have are the how many samples are belong to the same class or one particular class similarly in this partition also how many samples are a tuples with the class same class label so like suppose uh, out of 100 sample let us say this partition has uh, uh, 100 100 tuples in this 100 like so 90 percentage of the samples class labels are same like suppose in, the, in this data set the class uh, the class label is yes and no so 90 percentage of the samples are the tuples the class label is yes the remaining 10 percentage of the tuples class label is no that means it is not a 100 percent pure it is it is a there is a little bit impurity so that means our objective is to select a part uh, an attribute so based on that attribute the d would be partitioned so that each partition would have a pure that means all the tuples that fall into a given uh, into the same class so that is the objective so we are going to uh, like use these measures these measures are used like to estimate the purity so the best splitting criteria is the one that most closely results in a such scenarios so attribute selection measures are also known as a splitting rules so we are splitting the every level we are splitting the tuples into the different partitions why we are calling these uh, attribute selection measures as splitting rules because they determine how the tuples at a given node are to be split so the attribute selection measures provides a rank for each attribute describing the given training tuples so the attribute having the best score for the measure that is to be chosen as a splitting attribute for the given tuples if the splitting attribute is a continuous valued as we discussed in the previous lecture like uh, the attribute selection attribute selection and the splitting criteria the splitting criteria like if the attribute uh, values are discrete values if the attribute have the continuous values if it has both the discrete and the, the binary values so then how the splitting would be done like if it is a continuous value we'll use the splitting point so this is a uh, splitting point so splitting point is returned by that function so the splitting subset must also be determined as a part of the partitioning criteria so the three the three node created for partition d is labeled with the splitting criteria so branches are grown from for each outcome of the criteria and the tuples are partitioned accordingly so id3 is one of the best that is uses the information gain as its attribute selection measure so this measure is based on the pioneering work by the Plon de Shannon on information theory which studied the value or the information content of messages so let the node n represents or hold the tuples of partition d the attribute with the highest information gain like information gain is a one measure we are going to use now we are going to discuss here so let the highest information gain chosen as the splitting attribute for the node n so this attribute minimizes the information needed to classify the tuples in the 
resulting partitions and reflect the least randomness or impurity in these partitions. So we have to understand, remember this, this attribute minimizes like if the highest information gain chosen as the splitting attribute, the attribute with the highest information gain that attribute would be selected as a splitting attribute. So that means the attribute with the highest information gain that attribute minimizes the information needed to classify the tuples in the resulting partitions and uh, reflects the least randomness or impurity in those uh, partitions. So such an approach minimizes the expected number of tests need to classify a given tuple and guarantees that a sample, sample tree is uh, found. So that means what do you mean by this approach minimizes the expected number of tests. So let us just quickly go back to the previous so that is Bayesian tree. So in this case how what does it mean what the meaning of that sentence how it minimizes the number of tests like suppose here you can see. So suppose if you want to check whether this is a, a previous data. Now based on this like previously uh, a team played matches like a tennis or it could be anything uh, given the weather conditions like outlook, uh, sunny, overcast, temperature, humidity, wind play etc. So now the Bayesian tree is built. Now I ha we have to predict today let us say today so based on the conditions like weather conditions so whether this team is going to play the tennis or not. So how many tests need to be done like suppose here we will test it what is the outlook whether the outlook is a sunny overcast or rain. So if the outlook is sunny then we will we are going to test the humidity also. So if the humidity is a high and the team will not play the match if the humidity is normal then they are going to play the match. Similarly irrespective of the humidity and wind if the outlook is overcast the team definitely play the match. So this, this, these are the tests we will perform to come to the conclusion. So similarly, if the, the decision tree depth, that is number of levels are more, then obviously the number of tests need to be performed would also be more. So that is the way the number of, that is it minimizes the expected number of tests need to classify a given tuple. So here, the expected information that is need, needed to classify a tuple in the given data set is given by the for this equation like info of d that equal to minus sigma i equal to 1 to m pi log base to pi. So where pi is the non-zero probability that an arbitrary tuple in a d belongs to the a particular class c i and is estimated by the CID over that is the total number of uh, tuples qualified and the total number of tuples in this data set. So a log function to the base 2 is used because the information is uh, encoded in the form of bits. So info of D is just an average amount of information that is needed to classify a label of a tuple in the D. So at this point the information we have is uh, based slowly on the partitions proportions of the tuples of each class. So info of D is also called as a entropy of D. So how like uh, much more information would be uh, still needed that is after partitioning that is to arrive to at an exact classification. So that is also would be measured using this equation info of uh, this particular attribute. If you would have selected this particular attribute and how much right information we still needed to arrive at the exact classification. So in this equation the term like this one dz by d acts as the weight of the jth partition. So info d on attribute a is the expected information required to classify a tuple from the from d based on the partitioning by attribute a. So the smaller the expected information required, so the greater the purity of the partitions. 
So information gain is defined as the difference between the original information required that is based on the just the uh, proportion of classes and the new requirement that is the obtained after partitioning on a particular attribute let us say a so then that is equal to this information and if you would select this at particular attribute and what is the information gain of that and if you subtract this then we'll get the gain information gain so in other words gain of a that tells us how much a would be gained by branching on e so it is the expected reduction in the information requirement caused by knowing the value of a particular attribute a so the attribute a with the highest information gain that is g gain of a is chosen as the splitting attribute at node n so this is equivalent to saying that we want to partition on the attribute a so that would be the best classification so that the amount of information still required to finish uh, classific uh, classifying the tuples is minimal so let us quickly summarize what we discussed in this lecture so here we discussed what is what are the measures what are the measures used to select a best attribute what are the measures used to select the best attribute and we there are three measures like information gain information gain gain ratio ratio gain index so these are the three uh, attribute selection measures so we uh, we discussed about this information gain how the information gain and we discussed different equations like uh, how to calculate the the uh, required information minimum information required etc and how it uh, reduces the number of uh, steps and um, how we can select the best attribute so and one more thing is yeah that's it uh, next lecture we will discuss one numerical example so that you will get a much clarity on that thank you